This is part two of our HO Train Boxcar Weathering 101 for newbies. As you can see, I've uh, taken the box, the uh, caboose apart. So we've got the bottom part here. We're going to spray paint that a little bit later. The first thing I'm going to do is we're going to rust the top here. So I'm going to show you how to rust the top. And after that is rusted, then we're going to go ahead and use a dull coat and spray it all down. But you can see I've removed uh, side uh, I don't know what these are. I guess cupolas from the caboose, the windows, the trucks. You want to take it all apart so you get all nothing left but pieces because it's a lot easier to weather that way. And one more thing I wanted to mention too was uh, rust. I forgot to add that. Uh, this is actually flocal rust, so it's a uh, solvent-based paint. But we're going to use this to rust the uh, the wheels. So we'll take the wheels off. Wheel sets off. And we're going to paint rust over that, and then we'll, then we'll uh, powder that. Okay, we're going to start again with our sophisticated finishes, iron metallic surfacer. Uh, you're going to want to take a paintbrush that's kind of crappy, one they don't really care about, because we're going to throw this away when we're done. So what we're going to do is we're going to open this up, we're going to stir it really well, and we're going to apply a solution to the top of the, uh, the caboose here. Okay, so I've got this all shaken up. Stir it up real well. We're going to dip our brush in there. And we're just going to apply it over the top like this, just like you would paint. And you want to make sure you get the, uh, the bits and large bits and pieces in there because you want the metallic pieces to actually, to actually rust. Okay, so once we get this evenly applied, we're going to put our blow dryer on there and uh, dry it off quickly. Okay, once this is all dry, we're going to use our Sophisticated Finishes Rust Antiquing Solution. So we're just going to apply this uh, liberally, liberally to the top of the roof here. And uh, we'll let this dry overnight, and the next day we should have a nice, rusty roof. Okay, and in the meantime, while that roof is drying, we're going to take this outside and spray this with our Krylon camouflage. Uh, be sure to spray this outside, not inside, not even in the, well, if you spray it inside the garage, make, door, make sure the garage door is open and the cars are not in the garage. Uh, but I would, I would spray this outside if you can. So we'll spray that Krylon camouflage, and then we're going to take the trucks, and then we're going to spray them our Rust-Oleum Rusty Metal Primer. And in the meantime, I'm going to take uh, these guys. I have to paint this kind of a grimy black to cover cover that up because, again, I'm going off the picture here. Remember our picture? That's our Sioux line, Sioux 178. It's all black. So I'm going to paint that. Um, and I've got the uh, exterior panels drying as well. So these are, these are orange. These are all painted orange all the window coverings. Okay, now we're going to work on the wheels. We're going to use, I'm going to use uh, this Flocal Rust, and we're going <clears> to <throat> take that, slide that on the inside here with a small round brush. And then we're going to take some rust powder, and we're just going to just drop it on here so that it, uh, we don't rub it in, we just let it drop on so it looks like it's, like it's pimpled. You can also, uh, after the rust uh, paint dries. You can also, uh, you know, just rub it on like that as well. But I like to just uh, drop the rust on because that gives you kind of a more of a definition. So we'll do that right now. I don't know if we can see this real well, but you want to just take this. Just spin it around lightly on the inside like that. Do the other side. You don't want to get it on the tread, just on the inside of the wheel. Just like that. And then we're going to take some, I'll take a brush, and I'll pick up some of the dark rust. What I'll do is I'll just tap it. I'll just tap some of that rust, and it'll just fall on the on the inside of the wheel, and give it kind of a 
kind of a rusty definition. I'll, I'll pull this up close so you can see it. I don't know if you can see it like that. It gives it a nice rusty definition. Uh, one more item we're going to address too are the couplers. Um, we want to use rust on these as well. So we're going to paint this rust. But the bottom uh, hose here is going to be painted uh, more of a dark brown brown color because the hose is not rusted. It's just because it's, it's uh, rubber. So we're going to paint this rust and then we're going to go back and we're going to take some uh, powder as well and then powder this up kind of a kind of a rust color. So I'm taking the floquel and I'm gonna paint just the coupler itself here, the shaft. Try to stay away from the spring if you can. I'm gonna go inside. like that and while it's still dry okay let's see if you can focus here okay while well it's still I should say while it's still wet I'm gonna grab our brush again and I'm gonna grab uh, some of that dark rust again and we'll kinda drop that on the coupler it's what it's gonna do is the paint's gonna kinda Soak it in and give it that give it that mottled look. So you're not just brushing it on; you're kind of kind of dropping it on. So it's got it's got a raised raised look to it. I don't know if you can see that or not. If it zooms in, it's got kind of a raised raised look to it. And then we'll paint this uh, hose then at a later later date. Okay, so a few hours later, the roof is done. Check that out. All nice and rusty. Exactly what we wanted. Now I've got the uh, windows installed, painted and installed, and I got the, uh, the side cupola also painted. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take this and we're going to dull coat the whole thing. And of course with that, the ends as well. I forgot about the ends. These have also been, uh, uh, I went over the black paint with with uh, flat black and this has also been painted spray painted outside and the trucks have been painted and they're ready to go and the wheel sets wheel sets are right here so we'll put this all together and we're going to uh, also dull coat that okay everything's been dull coated you can see that the sheen is gone on the uh, on the caboose here. We're all ready to uh, weather this guy. This has also been dull coated and it's ready to go and the sides as well. So now this is where the fun begins. We're going to start with the uh, the chassis. We're going to go ahead and use uh, powders on this and uh, then we're going to dull coat this again after we powder it. Alright, here I am finished uh, with the powdering. Again, there's no right or wrong way with this. Um, I, I took some, some gray, some white, uh, kind of made it, you know, kind of light colored on the stairs there. T took some darker brown, some rust colors. You know, just do what you want, really. Uh, you can't break it. Um, but remember, less is more. What the heck does that mean? That means don't go overboard. Um, if you throw too much on there, then it's just like one big sloppy mess. You want to just kind of take each color individually and kind of hit it and, uh, and just put a layer of, of, of uh, powder on there. And again, it takes the sheen down. It just looks old and weathered right now. Now I'm going to take this and uh, I'm going to put a, a layer of uh, dull coat on it. And we'll come back and uh, we'll work on uh, painting the caboose. All right, here's where the fun begins. Um, I went ahead and I took some drafting tape and I marked, I covered the um, reporting marks on this because the last one I did, I didn't do that and it kind of got orangey over there and I want to keep that clear. So I've got drafting tape over the reporting marks. Okay, so what I've done is I'm using uh, the Goosh Orange. This is like a bright orange. 
and then this is that Artcraft Goosh 202. Uh, I put just a little bit of the orange with this orange, mix it together, and then I took just a just a pin prick of black, just a very small thing of black, to achieve that color right there. It's kind of a dull orangish color, and um, that's kind of what I want to go with. So this is kind of where it gets a little tricky. You're going to have to mix and match color to try to get a. You want a color that's kind of muted. You know, you don't want the bright orange. You want kind of a kind of a blase. Uh, color. So what we're going to do then is we're going to take our wide brush here, dip it in the water, and into the goosh. Sometimes I'll just kind of dip it in the water, put a little bit on the on the wood block here kind of remove some of the paint. You're going to want to start at the top and kind of go down in a streaking motion like this. And what you're going to do is you're going to just do this for the entire car. If you get too much on there, you just put a little bit more water on there and it'll come right off. So that's what you're going to do. You're going to do the whole entire car like that. Just go from top to bottom and cover the original paint. All right, this side's completed. Look at the difference in color between this side and the original side. See what that goosh has done? It's kind of a it's a it's an opaque paint, which means it's it's uh, it's not solid. So you can it's see through. You can actually take add water and just kind of pull it down. So um, if you like the uh, the way you, you know the first coat is, you know, go ahead and leave it. If you want to put some more paint on, go ahead and put some more on. Right now I'm going to let this dry and see how I like it. Um, if I want to put some more on, I'll do that. But in between coats, I'm going to dull coat it. So this thing will always be this color. And you won't take off the original the original uh, coat. So after you're done with this and this dries, um, we're going to go ahead and dull coat it. And we'll take a look at it again. Okay, now this side is complete. I'm going to let this dry. And something to show you guys, here I made up a, uh, you see right there, the end, the yellow, kind of a darkish yellow. I tried putting that on and I didn't like it. So uh, I ended up just taking it off and what I'm going to do, um, I'm not going to, I'm not going to dull this, I'm not going to use goosh at all on the ends here. We're just going to use uh, uh, powder and uh, chalk on there. That's what I did on the other one. So that's what the nice thing about this, the goosh here is, if you don't like it, if it's too heavy, you just simply wipe it off. Take a makeup sponge, pour water on it, and just wipe it off and start over. Um, so yeah, it's a great product. All right, and now the uh, probably the most important part of this uh, whole process is adding the rust. Now you can see I've already added the decals. Um, I'll go into that later, how I applied those decals. But for right now, um, they're done and they're sealed. So what you're going to do, you're going to take your designer goosh, uh, the burnt umber, and we're going to put a little bit of that on our fine-tipped paintbrush here. And looking at the picture here now, we're going to dab it and then streak it. Now if you want like a rust spot, you're just going to dab it and then we're going to drop a little bit of the uh, powder on there and then streak that down with it. So it's kind of a two-part process. Now, when you pull the streaks down, you want to get them, you're going to want to try to get them as, as uh, straight as possible. And it takes some time, some patience, but you can do it. So we'll just put a little dab. Let's see if I can get this here. We're going to put a little dab right here. And then we're going to pull this down. I guess it's hard to see, but you're going to do that for the rust streaks. And what you also do is then you'll take this over to our uh, powder. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab, I've got these as well. These are uh, micro micro brushes, so you got a little bit of, a little bit of brush, brush tip on the end here. 
We're going to dip this in our powder. I'm going to use the rust colored powder. And I'm going to drop just a little bit on the end there like that. Then we're going to wet our brush. And we're going to pull that down. Just like that. And if you mess up, it's not that big a deal because you can actually go back and um, with the brush and just wipe it off because this is all water soluble. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to take this, and I'll fast forward, take this brush and we're going to make all the rust, uh, rust lines and rust spots add a little bit of powder to them and then after that we're going to go back and we're going to powder the, uh, the caboose with, uh, with more uh, chalk to kind of blend everything in. Okay so the caboose is nearly complete. Um, I went ahead and put it together so we got the wheels on and the uh, couplers on. Um, it's been sprayed with dull coat. One thing I didn't show, and I, sh I showed in the first video, but I should show again, is my box here. This is the box of powders that I use, the AIM powders. So what we did is you grab a flat brush like this, and I used um, mostly dirt, kind of the dirt color and the gray color on the bottom of the caboose. So that's how we get that, that nice blended color on the caboose here. So yeah, this guy's just about done. The last thing we're going to do is we're going to use a dry, a dry brushing method. Okay, so the last piece of the puzzle is uh, to take a stiff brush. This one's kind of a flat brush here. And we're going to dip it into some white paint. I'm using uh, polyscale white. It's acrylic. You can use any acrylic paint. And what you want to do I'm going to put just a little bit of paint on your brush. And then I've got a piece of wood here, and I'm just going to try to get most of it off like this. So brush it off. You want just barely, barely a little bit of paint on there. And what you're going to do is you're going to take the brush, and you're going to highlight the raised areas on here, on the caboose. So it's going to give kind of a 3D effect. So you just want to kind of just lightly touch it like this. And uh, on the trucks, so it kind of pops, it kind of pulls that, I don't know if you can see here, it kind of pulls it out. That's a little bit bright there, but it gets a little bit too bright, then go back and brush it off some more. It kind of pops and it pulls all of the, uh, all of the raised plastic pieces in the caboose and it gives it again that 3D effect. And there's our completed caboose, all done. So I've raised the lettering, well, I've raised the uh, outside pieces of the caboose you can see with the uh, with a paintbrush there, so it's all kind of just very light white paint on there. It just kind of pops and brings it out. Now here's another caboose that I've done. Let's see if I can widen widen this out a little bit here. There we go. Okay. So I actually have done two cabooses. I actually had another one laying around that I didn't know that I had, so I went ahead and made two. So you can see. Um, utilizing the goosh, this one's a little bit darker here, and this one's a little bit lighter, and it's because you know I mix the paints differently. It's you don't, it's kind of tough to get them exact, but I think the darker one is just a little bit too dark. I think I'm going to keep this one here, the lighter one, because it matches the picture. So if you look at the picture here, here's our starting picture, and there's our caboose. All right, I went ahead and airbrushed this. I used. Uh, dirt. Uh, we used, it's actually poly scale and it's a water-based. It's just called dirt. So I mixed a little bit of alcohol, a little bit of water, probably 50% alcohol water and then, uh, and then the paint. And then I went ahead and used the airbrush on this guy. So it kind of, uh, kind of blends things all together. Um, and it just gives it that kind of that filthy kind of dirty look. If you look at the other one here, this is without so it's still uh, a little bit more shinier. I think I might take the, uh, the airbrush to this guy too to kind of mute it. So here it is again, airbrushed. And that's just a, uh, it's just, you want to just do it 
really lightly, just barely, barely get on there. I mean, less is more. That's, that's, I can't express that enough as less is more. Don't just dump the paint on there. Just barely, barely airbrush it on there. So yeah, that's complete. It's ready to go in our layout.